Hello you guys! I have a foundation review, sort of like a first impression but not really because this is not the first time I'm wearing it. I've used it before on its own and I've also used it with a setting spray. So this way I can tell you how I really like this foundation. I want to be able to give you my honest opinion on it. I don't want to just tell you how I like this foundation based on a few hours of wearing it. The foundation that I'm talking about is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. I've been looking for this foundation for quite a while and of course, because this is Canada, we always get everything last. I don't know why, that's not nice. So yeah, this is gonna be kind of like the first impressions, like I said. I'm gonna show you how I apply this foundation on my face and then I'm gonna check back with you at the end of the night to see how it's holding up. All right, so I think I pretty much covered everything. I'm just gonna switch this to the part where you see me applying makeup. Don't get scared because it's a scary picture. <sighs> I'm gonna do this for you guys. You better love this video. Give it a thumbs up for my face. I know this foundation comes with a pump, but I'm just gonna use it like this to show you how it's like. It's a very thick. See, it's very, it's a very, very creamy foundation. I'm just gonna use this much. Okay, the foundation covers pretty well and the color seems to match my neck pretty well too. I'm not sure if I like applying it with a brush because I'm not really used to applying foundations with a brush. But for some reason, <clears throat> I never applied it with this brush before. I never applied it with this brush before and I felt like to just try this brush and see how it applies with because uh, before when I used it, I think I used the uh, Beauty Blender and it came out a little bit too cakey. So I wanted to try the brush and see how it would work for me. It covers really nicely. I want to see if it covers my red, my, my red circles, my dark holy ghost. I'm gonna see if it covers my dark circles, but I think it does. So this is one side of my face done with the foundation, and I prefer applying it with a brush. I used a beauty blender before, but it, it was too cakey. I think I'm gonna be applying this foundation with the Real Techniques buffing brush. It makes it more flawless, not as cakey looking. Um, the color might be a little bit too light, but I can deal with it. I'm just gonna cover the side of my face now, and if you can tell, it covers the redness. Not really redness, but like discoloration and whatever I have. And this is pretty much it with just one layer of foundation. I think it has amazing coverage. I don't need a second layer and all I used was that little bit that I showed you. As I mentioned earlier, I've tried it twice before, but I never really liked it as much as I do now. It covered really nicely and only with one layer. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to tell you how I truly like this foundation. I'm back with my makeup done and uh, I love this foundation. It doesn't seem too cakey. It's a little bit on the heavy side, so it's not like a thin foundation because it's so full coverage. It does feel like you have foundation on your face and it doesn't dry to a matte finish completely. It dries to like a semi-matte finish, but when you touch it, you can definitely tell that you have foundation on because it feels moisturizing. It's not it doesn't dry completely. I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys how the foundation is looking right now. Hold on. There. Now I'm gonna zoom in. What am I doing? See, it looks a little bit cakey, like around this area. And it's not that it's cakey, it's just how my skin is, I guess. Plus, I'm super zoomed in, so. You see things that people don't usually see when they're looking at you in real life. Also, I completely forgot to check what time I finished putting this foundation on. But since it's 4.57 now, I put the rest of my makeup on after I finished. It was probably around 4.30 when I finished applying my foundation. Why is the lighting changing? What's wrong with you? Let's just see how it's gonna hold up throughout the night. And I will check back with you in a little bit. Okay, so it's been a total of 8 hours since it's 12.26 right now. And I applied the foundation at 4.30. I should have probably grabbed a mirror before I started filming this to see how my foundation is doing. One second. Let's see how the foundation's doing. Not bad. Whoa. Oh. Okay, for some reason, I prefer the way that foundation went on today than the other two days 
I've tried. The setting spray when I used it before, I think it was two days ago, made my face really shiny. But right now, just the foundation alone and a little bit of setting powder right there. It's fine, it's giving me a glow, like it's not shiny. My nose is not shiny. I love this. Why am I so weird looking? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zoom you in to show you what I'm talking about because I don't think you can see very well. Usually, I start to get super shiny around here and it starts to crease here on my left lines and the color just starts to fade on my nose and I'm not seeing that and it usually starts creasing here but it's not creasing. My blush and bronzer are still here. I'm not wearing a setting spray. I didn't touch up throughout the day. I didn't do anything. It's been eight hours which is awesome because I don't usually wear foundations longer than eight hours anyway. I don't feel comfortable. You don't need more than one layer of foundation because it will cake up if you keep building it. I give it a thumbs up. Two, three thumbs up. All the fingers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Don't know where it is. I, I don't. That's about it. Goodbye. And goodbye. Bye. Why am I so awkward? Bye.